video log. In case you've been under a rock for the last uh, couple of weeks, just wanted to let everyone know the new Harry Potter, the final Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is out now. Make sure you check that out because it's actually a very good book, just like the last six in the series. So it's available right now. And I mention that because a little bit of a shake-up at the box office this week. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the fifth film in the series, was not able to hold on to its box office dominance. It was knocked off this week by a now-pronounced you Chuck and Larry, the new Adam Sandler, Kevin James comedy that, despite having only an 18% approval rating at Rotten Tomatoes and being generally panned, uh, still beat out Harry Potter by 2.7 million. So a little bit of a shakeup on this. I think it was really a bad idea putting the Harry Potter film out at this time of year. Way too much competition, very crowded summer. I think it would have been much better suited to come out in November. The last Harry Potter film, which was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, that was put out in the summertime, did not do as well as Goblet of Fire and the two preceding films, which were put out in the fall, so keep that in mind. On to some happier news for you. I do have some news on the new Indiana Jones film that's currently shooting in Hawaii. Word has it that the film set in the 1950s will have the intrepid archaeologist Harrison Ford going back to Area 51 to recover the Ark of the Covenant, bringing the film series full circle from the Russians who hope to, like the Nazis before them, lead the Ark to their um, armies to have an unstoppable force upon the Earth. Uh, the film is said to be very action-packed. We'll see it next summer, and in a little insider secret for you, Karen Allen is set to return as Marion Ravenwood, according to on-set reports, and very much uh, rumor indicates that her father, long-thought-dead Abner Ravenwood, possibly played by John Hurd, will be making an appearance in the film. Uh, a little bit of a shake-up at Comic-Con, which will be next weekend. Apparently, 20th Century Fox is and a little bit of a dispute with them over the fact that there's a uh, ban on R-rated clips being shown. Now this is odd because they had planned Fox to show Aliens vs. Predators, that, which would be Alien vs. Predator 2, at the con next weekend, and apparently they have walked out. Now negotiations are going on, but as of this morning, the brothers Strauss, who direct the film, have said that they will release the trailer on the web one week after Comic-Con, so stay tuned for that. Apparently the incident stems from the Borat publicity last year where there was a little bit of nudity and things got out of hand, so go figure. Calmer minds hopefully will prevail. I also wanted to make an update for you folks that we have interviews with the director and stars of Hot Rod, as well as Jeremy Davies on the website right now, so do make sure you check that out. Um, let's see, we've got a lot of stuff going on right now, so let's get into the DVD reviews right now. Coming out in two weeks, and wanted to show it right now, Babylon 5, The Lost Tales, Voices in the Dark. This is the brand new uh, two separate storyline movie line that will bridge the gap of some unanswered questions in the show and possibly set the stage for future films. It is the first of a planned six series in DVDs. Uh, this one right now features Bruce Boxleitner as Captain John Sheridan telling the tale of his return to Babylon 5 ten years after assuming the role of the Interstellar President. Tracy Scoggins also returns as now Colonel uh, Lockley, who is still in charge of Babylon 5, and Peter Woodward returns as Galen the Technomage. Two interesting stories that blend together. My only real issue with the film was I would have liked a little more action, but it was fantastic seeing them back together. You can read the full review on our website, and uh, do check it out when it hits the stores. We're going to go real quick because we have a lot of DVDs to cover and I don't want to take up too much time on this, but uh, MTV pre presents Beneath. This is a horror film that may have slipped off the charts. Uh, you may not have seen too much about it, but this is actually a very good suspenseful film. We've got Season 1 of Soul Food out right now by Paramount. Good film. Uh, season 2, geez, excuse me, where's my mind today? Uh, we also have the complete second season of MTV's The Hills, so this is good for the teenagers that you may know, and also fans of uh, Beverly Hills 90210, Melrose Place, that sort of thing. David Jansen's classic The Fugitive, the film series, well, film series, the TV series of which the Harrison Ford film was based upon is now out. Do check that out from Paramount. An all-time classic, especially for the Family Guy fans. If you like to know what Roger's up to, we got the second season of Dynasty, uh, the uh, show that made cat fights, <laughs> a household name. For those looking for some stand-up, we have Brian Regan, and The Amazing Jonathan, Wrong on Every Level, that are out now from Comedy Central, and do check these out. Lots of laughs in that. Coming very soon, 
Lights, Camera, Elvis. This is the complete eight film set of Elvis Presley's film career. Right there, you're going to want to check that out. And here's a little one that'll slip under the uh, radar, but I think sci-fi fans will love it. Got Daniel Craig, better known as James Bond, in the new film Renaissance. It is an anime style film that basically blends Blade Runner and Sin City to tell a futuristic tale of action, venture, and betrayal. And of course, nothing would be complete without the classic 10th season, the final season, Stargate SG-1, available now from MGM. And do check that out in Fox DVD. Loaded with features, it contains all the episodes. This is a must-have for everybody who's followed the series. I want to spin right now over to some new games coming out. We have Hot Shot Tennis for the PlayStation 2. We'll also play on the PlayStation 3. Fantastic action, good solid play, and you can do some amazing crazy shots. So do check this out. It even comes with 11 exotic courts. And also for the PS3 and the Wii from 2K Games, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Uh, single play and multiplayer group action. Destructible Terrains uh, has not just the characters from the film, also has some classic Marvel characters. Check that out as well. And in some side news, just wanted to point out that uh, word has it that Donnie Wahlberg, who appeared in the last two Saw films, Saw 2 and 3, uh, had asked that his character be killed off in the last film, and that certainly was what the uh, scenes implied. Well, unfortunately, he's coming back. And why do I say unfortunately? He is not happy about it. Word has it that Wahlberg very tersely let the cat out of the bag that his character survived and has a scene in the upcoming Saw 4 and is not thrilled about that, but we'll see what happens come October. Looking ahead this week, we will have reviews of the brand new Danny Boyle science fiction film, Sunrise, Sunshine, excuse me. We will also have the uh, premiere and coverage of the brand new Simpsons film. So check that out, and we will see you next week on the video log, and I just want to remind everybody, Timeless Destinations up in British Columbia is occurring the first weekend of August. We'll be there. Uh, we're also hoping to cover BlizzCon this year. We have reporters standing by for that, just waiting for the confirmation. And we will be at the Penny Arcade Expo, so if you're going to be at any of these functions, uh, send me an email and check us out, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.